Welcome to a new daily top ask credit video. Today's topic. What makes people age the most? Stress. That and drugs, drinking, and smoking. Genetics also play a big role. Yalla missing the sun. Sun damage, exposure with no protection can age you faster than any of those. National Geographic made a really good documentary about stress. It's called, Stress, Portrait of a Killer. It's on YouTube. As someone with an extreme anxiety disorder, sad face. Appearance-wise. Smoking and sun damage. It's amazing how much damage the sun does yet so many people still just lay out in it to burn their skin. I'm in my late 40s and being a nerdy guy who stayed inside a lot has left my skin pretty smooth and pale while other people my age have tough looking leathery skin with tons of spots. As a redhead who jumps from shadow to shadow, I can confirm. My friends from HS all look much older than me and ask me what my secret is. I avoid the sun and use sunblock. Also, lack of stress. I have been blessed the last 20 years with minimal stress. My husband is my best friend, and we genuinely enjoy each other. Because of that, everything else just works itself out, and I don't stress. The sun, or, more specifically, are traveling around it over and over. If only we could launch Earth into deep space, away from the sun, then soon, nobody would age anymore. You're a genius. 1. Lack of quality sleep. 2. Lack of exercise. 3. Smoking 4. Drug use. 5. Alcohol 6. Not drinking enough water. 7. Sugar 8. Low quality nutrition, especially hyper-processed industrialized foods. 9. Lack of socialization, leads to depression, low self-esteem etc. I'm so screwed. Yeah I was reading that list like 1 check, 2 check, 3 check. Dot 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 dot. Well this ain't good lol. Grief. My dad always looked younger than his age, but when my older sister passed away, his looks caught up to his age within a year, including going from hardly any grey to all grey hair. Damn. I'm sorry for your family's loss. My group of friends has had a lot of really hectic grief over the last year or two. I watch my best friend go from a cute baby-faced small guy, running marathons and playing soccer to a balding, with high blood pressure and cholesterol, looks 10 years older. It's insane how quickly it happened too. Stress. Kids, this is my theory on why people say millennials, look younger. My 40-year-old friends with kids look like my parents did at 40, my 40-year-old friends without kids look like my parents did at 30. I'm 40 with a 5-year-old loudly crying people used to say I was so youthful. People guess my age correctly now. Sometimes older. I've seen friends looking 10 years older after having kids. Especially if they have a 10-year-old. I know a pair of identical twins. One has two kids, one is a bachelor. The dad one looks 10 years older. Not continuing brain stimulation. I'm 77, research everything I don't know. Many people marvel at my cognitive abilities. Never stop learning. Yes, I absolutely believe that curiosity keeps you young. And to stay open for every person and their beliefs with no judgment. You might learn something new or a new perspective. Or not, but at least the non-judgmental part will give you no stress. Being stagnant mentally and physically gotta get ripples in the pond. That's what I call it. I'm majorly a creature of habit and this is the way I look at it, even if it's something as small as listening to a different radio station than the same one I listen to asterisk every single day. I figure, it's a ripple at the very least. Pain. You can tell when someone's had recurring pain or regular pain over a long period of time. It's around the eyes. I concur here. 41M who was born with a hip disability and have had numerous operations. Currently recovering from a second total hip replacement on my left side from six weeks ago. The grimace I give because I'm in pain creates wrinkles. Definitely crow's feet. US. Presidency. Amazing what four years can do. What a job. Imagine having every minute of your waking life accounted for for four years straight. Not to mention the fact that for those four years and possibly beyond you're the single most scrutinized person on the planet and to millions upon millions of people, literally everything that happens is all your fault. Time, and like billable hours, time is undefeated. This guy bills hours. Children, I remember going to my 10-year HS reunion. Some people looked so old. I thought, oh, they must have partied hard. No, they all had kids young. Also, people who have back-to-back -back kids instead of taking a break in between children. Having a child puts a woman's body through a lot. If you do have kids, make sure to put in some extra self-care and take those vitamins. The baby is sucking you dry lol. People are having kids older nowadays, so there's more pressure to pop them out quickly while there's still time. My friend had her first at 37 and her second a year later.
No idea how she made it through, because the first five years or so have been absolute hell. Drugs. If you take care of yourself, big if, while on drugs it probably wouldn't be so bad. It imagine the number number one reason drugs age you is they all fuck with your REM sleep. Nothing you can do to combat it except stop. There are lots of drugs where using them is mutually exclusive with taking care of yourself. Any abuse of heroin, for example, means that it is impossible to claim that you are taking care of yourself. Prolonged use of many drugs, especially opiates, can make permanent changes to your body's ability to produce and respond to several neurotransmitters. REM sleep is important, but serotonin and dopamine rank far higher on the list of things I want to have working. Chronic pain. I've watched my 60-year-old dad age 15 years in the last five. He was diagnosed with dystonia in his neck and it's been super rough on him. Not a lot of treatment options available, and they're all expensive. I have severe muscle rigidity, which is not the same but left me effectively unable to move for years. There's a book called Built to Move that has helped a ton. It would hopefully help your dad ease up the cascading stress on the rest of his muscles that would be caused by the dystonia. It might be worth a shot. People on this thread are focusing on things people can control, smoking, not exercising, drinking, sun damage, but the real answer is health problems, and it sucks because a lot of times people have absolutely no control over them. It's outrageously sad and unfair. I'm in my 40s and I have peers who look like teenagers and peers who look like they're at death's door, and the latter are people who have had cancer, ALS, MS, lupus or the like. A lot of them took very good care of themselves. You can, and should, reduce your chances of getting some conditions with a healthy lifestyle, but sometimes life just fucks you for no good reason. Absolutely. I looked exceptional for age 40. Then I was diagnosed with cancer, the kind that has literally nothing to do with anything you can control. It fucked me up. I'm five years cancer-free, but still deal with the daily reminder that I'm missing a couple important endocrine glands. Oh, then add premature menopause because of said cancer. I went from a very fresh and young-looking 40-yo to a very tired and aged 46-yo. Removed. Unhappiness. If you're unhappy with your life in general it tends to show one way or another. Aesthetically, too much fillers and Botox in your 20s just makes you look exactly the same as women in their 40s with too much fillers and Botox trying to look 20s. It's a weird phenomenon. All the TikToks about Gen Z aging like milk are hilarious. Physically, your diet, drug, smoking. I know a couple young girls that have had a lot of cosmetic procedures done. They don't look bad per se, but man. I had to do a double take when they told me they were 19 and 20 years old. It's not just fillers, it's the lash extensions, heavy makeup, and style of dress. I really want to advise them to tone it down and quit while they're ahead, but not my place and I'm sure the unsolicited advice would be unappreciated. Removed. It's not alcohol and stress though. Look at South Koreans, Japanese etc. They drink like fish and have hugely stressful jobs but their 40-year-old women look like 25. Well that's just called being Asian. That's because they build it up until they're 70 and all of a sudden it hits them. A lot of Asian people, predominantly Korean, Japanese and Chinese, carry more collagen in their skin than other races which naturally reduces and delays visible aging. Genetics. Surprised this is so far down. You can be stressed beyond belief and party like a rock star yet look younger than someone else just due to them having a natural baby face. Life is unfair like that. Sunlight, hands down. All those pasty nerds not going out in the sun will look so much younger than the beach bums when they all hit 50. Yeah, but I'll be tan and they'll still be nerds. Sun and smoking. The real answer in terms of appearance. Stress and lack of sleep. Chuckles asterisk I'm in danger. I can always tell a long time cigarette smoker by their face. Children. My high school classmates who had children in their early, mid-twenties all look like they're 40 plus and we the child-free ones all look like we're in our mid, late twenties. I'm 35. Same. Also mid-thirties here. I'm constantly told I look 25, no kids, but my former classmates who have kids look like they're in their mid-forties. So glad I decided to be child-free lol. Appearance-wise. Smoking and sun damage. Smoking. My mom is only 66 and her face looks, bad. Her face is full of so many wrinkles, especially around her mouth. She's been smoking for 50 years. Never touched a cigarette nor do I drink alcohol, so we'll see what my fate is, because we have similar skin types, hopefully my insides look a lot better. Grimace. If she makes it to her 70s, you will probably live a lot longer than that. Booze. Alcohol directly damages DNA by shortening protective telomeres. 
Telomeres are repetitive DNA sequences that cap the end of chromosomes, protecting them from damage. The alcohol industry, lobbyists have done a spectacular job of hiding the damage that alcohol does. It's damaging on a cellular level and causes almost every kind of cancer. Boy, this sure is a not particularly popular answer that should be one of the most, if not the answer here lol. I wonder why. Thinking face. Attitude. I swear as soon as a person starts identifying as an old person, the conversation always turns to bodily woes and life complaints. I know it's a thing, but don't let it be your only thing. I hate to say it but kids and hard drugs. I'm 30 and have no kids and no plans on having any and I'm always told I look too young to be 30 or I tell people and they want to quiz me on my id to make sure I'm not lying but when I look at people I went to school with the ones that look way older than they are either a, had kids really young b, they went right into the hard drug scene after graduation. What if you take both? Become super old then. My next challenge in life will be to do hard drugs and have kids lol I'll get back to you.